guys? Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this Galaxy S7 all day battery test vlog. So if you haven't watched my vlogs before, basically what I do is I go about my day and I test the battery life on my daily driving phone. For today, I put the SIM card in the Galaxy S7 here, the AT&T edition. This is a Snapdragon variant, and I will be running it all day to see how it drains down here. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you that I am rocking out with 100% battery life before we head out the door. So as you can see right here, here is the Galaxy S7. I have 100% battery life here for the device like i say at&t edition of the galaxy s7 if i go to always on display there you could see 100 percent so it is currently let's see what time it is it is 10 46 a.m here i'm about to go pick up the girlfriend downtown and it's 10 46 a.m so just keep that in mind for when we head out and how long it does last here now the way i'm going to be rocking the galaxy s7 is on full brightness or close to full brightness location enabled i will be using the gps to go find her it is a big city here in chicago and um also i'll be using this for some b-roll footage for this video so with that being said let's get into this right now All right, guys, so I just want to show you this real world scenario. So I do have the Samsung Galaxy S7 up here on the windshield and I will be putting on GPS to get to my location. So that should eat a little bit of battery life. It is obviously location enabled services here. This is live. I, this is not a saved offline map. So I will be using live maps GPS. So that should be using quite a bit of battery. Also, I do have this Bluetooth transmitter right here, which I will be using to make phone calls onto my Galaxy S7, as well as listen to some Spotify possibly. So that should juice down quite a bit of battery life here for the Galaxy S7. Also will be running, like I say, on a pretty full brightness level. So yeah, with that being said, let's uh, see what happens with the battery life. We'll catch you in a little bit. So what is up guys? I'm with the girl for now. I just picked her up from downtown. She was at the makeup place. How was that? Beautiful. What kind of, what, what store was that? Sephora. So for all the ladies out there, it's probably a very small majority of ladies out there. But if you're watching this, check out Sephora. Pretty, uh, pretty nice place if you want that makeup action going on. Anyway, talking about the Galaxy S7. I use the GPS on the G7, Galaxy S7 for short. And um, it dropped 12%. I mean, 12% just getting her, what was that, like 20 minutes to pick you up? Mm -hmm. Just 20, 12% already. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you where we're at. All right, guys, so it's 11.28 a.m. and I am down to 87%, rocking with the 4G LTEs. And this is the Galaxy S7 from AT&T I mentioned earlier. Now, some people are going to say, well, the battery life is better on the Exynos model. And you know what? People say so much about this Snapdragon and Exynos model that it, I don't think they're that much different. I honestly use the Galaxy Note 5 with the Exynos chip, and the battery life is horrible on that phone. So let's go into the battery settings so it should be under device maintenance here and if i go into the battery section and i hit battery usage here let's go into battery usage it should say 46 minutes on the battery life department and we drop 13 percent here screen on time 33 minutes so i just wanted to give you that quick update there like i said all i used was gps now i'm probably going to go eat with the lady and then i'm gonna drop her off at work later and then i'm gonna continue on with my day also we'll be picking up the lg stylo 2 probably during this vlog or whatever but we're gonna update you guys later when the battery life has dropped significantly and i'll catch you on in a little bit <laughs> so i'm headed to get some breakfast now i'm still looking around the galaxy s7's at 85 percent i'm gonna update you guys a little later but overall, you know, the phone's been getting a little bit hot with that GPS action going on. Hasn't it got a little bit hot? Yeah, it's hot. Oh, she had to check. Show her the phone right there. Show them the phone. Okay. Show them the I phone. I like right this there. little. Okay, look at this. Even though the screen is not on, it has a little clock right there. You see that? Yeah, it's called always, it's called always on display. Everyone knows about always that. Always on display. Always on display. So, like I say, guys, 85%. Headed to get some breakfast right now. I will update you a little bit. It's 11.40 p.m. So overall, hey. it's doing okay. I think it's going to make it most of the day. I'm not sure if it's going to make it a two-day. It's not a two-day phone. But uh, the train's starting to run, so I'll see you later. 
All right, guys, so we are going to this restaurant right here. I'm gonna show you right here, let me flip it around. You can see there it is, the breakfast lounge. We are here on Ashland and Clybourne, so if you ever come to Chicago, Ashland and Clybourne, we're gonna check out this place for the first time. She's all excited, let's get into this baby. Hello, keep having a good day. Well, we're gonna have a good day, aren't we, fellas, ladies? <laughs> oh man, let's go inside, have some breakfast. All right, guys, so I just ordered my breakfast. I created my own skillet, and I'm going to show you the battery life here on the S7 and how it's going. All right, guys, so you can see it is now 12 p.m., and we do have 80% left on the Galaxy S7. I will show you where we are in terms of the use case scenarios. I did shoot that B-roll outside on the phone. Let me go into device maintenance and a little bit of a mistap action right there. Let's go into the battery life, and let's go to battery usage. You can see the phone has been on for a total of an hour and 17 minutes, dropped down 20%. Now, that's because this is a heavy use day. I mean, we're using the phone heavily. So we're going to screen on time. You could see 56 minutes and 20 seconds on screen time. Now, by comparison, my iPhone 7 Plus drops about an hour, you know, 10% after about an hour of screen on time. So this is not the best battery life in the world, but hey. It's something nonetheless. I still think it'll get through most of the day if you're not using it heavily. So I will update you guys a little bit later when we use the phone a little bit more and drop some battery. So what did you order? I ordered a waffle sandwich and it has ham and scrambled eggs and tomatoes and cheese. Are you gonna show them? So I got the skillet right here going with the eggs, the avocado, the potatoes, some mozzarella cheese and some wheat toast. All right, we're leaving the breakfast lounge. It was amazing. Uh, headed to Boost Mobile to get some. LG Stylo 3 action. We'll be unboxing that later today. How was the food? It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. So breakfast lounge if you come through Chicago. Anyways, I'll catch you in a little bit. Hi everybody. This is Lenora. I just want to say that I'm going to be back on the channel uh, more frequently because this summer we have a lot of fun things planned and we're going to be, well I'm going to be featured in a lot of his videos and hopefully I'm gonna be talking tech too. So you guys stay tuned for that too on the channel, okay? All right guys, so we're here at the Boost Mobile right here. I'm actually gonna be picking up the LG Stylo 3 for about 180 bucks and I'm gonna be doing the review on the LG Stylo 3 to the channel. So if you wanna see any versus video reviews, unboxings, camera reviews, fingerprint scanner tests, drop them down below. A vlog, maybe a vlog on the all day battery test. Some pen action with the Stylos. The Stylos? The stylus. I make up my own words sometimes, so don't judge me. Don't judge me. Anyway, about to pick that up. Galaxy S7 is actually shooting this video, and we will be flipping the camera around to show you that battery life right now. All right, guys. So we are now at 68%. Um, it looked like <laughs> did it say 67? Just went up one percent. That's kind of weird. So battery life right there. Battery usage, very small ticker right there. Two hours, 23 minutes. Screen on time, one hours, 28 minutes. So. Not too bad, actually, because so far it looks like we're going to get at least three hours to four hours on screen time. That's pretty solid for an Android phone, if you ask me. And remember, I'm in the WQHD mode, a.k.a. the 2K resolution mode, 1440 by 2560 pixels resolution. So this is a higher use case scenario. 4G LTE, Bluetooth is rocking. I was using that Bluetooth transmitter in my car, as well as the Gear Fit is connected. So a lot of things are going on. Gear Fit right here is connected. So a lot of things are going on with this Galaxy S7, and it's still hanging in there. I will update you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm now driving back to the house. I just dropped off the girlfriend, and the Galaxy S7 is actually in the window, as you just seen from that previous shot. It's at 57%. It's 227 p.m. and you know the battery life is that's not super great but you got to remember this is a high use casage and being that the Samsung Galaxy S7 will go ahead and charge within like 30 minutes makes the Galaxy S7 incredible because it can go all of these hours and then if you go throw it on a quick charger or a fast charger the thing just boom lightnings right back up to 100 percent so that's why I think even though it's not the longest lasting device in terms of battery life, it's incredible. So anyways, I'll update you guys a little bit and I will actually show you the usage after this scene right here. All right guys, so you can see it is now 2.57 p.m. and I just made it back to the studio. I'm about to shoot the LG Stylo 3 unboxing video, which should be on the channel by the time you see this vlog. But we're currently at 40% here 
on the Samsung Galaxy S7. And let me go into settings and show you the type of usage I've had today. I've mostly been using Spotify, GPS Maps, made a couple of phone calls. And you should see right here, if I go into battery maintenance or device maintenance here, you can see the battery life here. It does say 40%, 4G LTE. The battery's been on for about, I'd say about four hours now. Let's go into battery usage. You can see four hours and 15 minutes. It's been steadily dropping because I've been heavily using it today for testing purposes. Let's go into screen time on, and you can see time on screen is two hours and 27 minutes with 40% battery life remaining. This is on the QHD mode, the 2K mode, and Bluetooth has been running 4G. So I think this is pretty good battery life so far for Android Nougat. You can see most of my use cases here, maps, voice call, Spotify, uh, Android system, and the internet as well. So if I go back, you can see this is in fact Android Nougat version here for this battery test. So let's go down to About Device, and you can see Android 7.0 Nougat. And it's been pretty solid here on Nougat. So I'm going to update you guys a little bit later when it's down to about 20%, or maybe I'll just end it in the next scene here to cap off this video. All right, guys, so it is the end of this all-day battery test. I'm about to go get some dinner. It's now 6.04 p.m. The Galaxy S7 is not quite dead. It's at about 11%, but you never know when it gets down in the red what's going to happen. It might just shut off. Sometimes battery readings on smartphones can be inaccurate, so I do like to end my battery vlogs right around 10% because of that reason. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. If you're wondering, Nick, why does the video quality look better right now? That's because I've been switching the video each scene has been on different you know products this one's on the lumix g7 earlier it was on the galaxy s7 as well as the iphone 6s plus so three different cameras being shot in this video i'm going to go ahead and flip it around and show you the final results of the galaxy s7 battery test all right guys it is now 607 p.m the galaxy s7 is at 10 percent and it is about dead like I say, I'm not going to go ahead and kill it all the way because I don't know if it's going to poop out at maybe 8%, 7%. But I'm going to show you the use case. You've been following me all day on this journey toward the end of this battery. And you can see if I go into device maintenance battery down here and I go into battery usage here, 7 hours, 24 minutes on battery. If I go to the screen... You can see that I do have three hours and 32 minutes on screen time. That is incredible screen time. Actually, not incredible. It's pretty decent screen time here for pretty much having it on full brightness. This means that if you have it on like medium brightness, you're going to get over four hours of screen on time here on your Galaxy S7 with Android Nugget or you could say Android Nougat. And um, th that's pretty solid, I would say, for using a device heavily. We use Spotify, 4G LTE, Bluetooth is still connected to my Galaxy Gear Fit 2 here. So yeah, about three and a half hours on screen time. It still has 10%, so I would say it will go at least till four hours. But you're not gonna get much more than four to five hours on screen time here with Android Nougat. But that's pretty much the entire day of how the battery life went with the Galaxy S7 in the real world. All right, guys, so that's pretty much wraps up the vlog of the Galaxy S7 all-day battery test. How was the battery life, in your opinion? I think it was better than the iPhone 5S. Yes, definitely better than the iPhone 5S. Probably not better than the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, in my personal experience, but pretty strong nonetheless for being such a heavy use. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology-based videos like this. We do vlogs, unboxings, reviews, and all kinds of every and anything that comes to mind technology. This was Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one. And, and peace. peace.